people are always asking where we run, where Straight Line Delivery runs freight and why. Well, here's a good example. It's geography, really. This is the Rust Belt, where steel is made uh, from the raw materials to, you know, the molten slabs to coils of steel uh, and then shipped everywhere. The purple section of this map is where Easy Pass is accepted. That means there's a lot of toll roads there. Why would there be toll roads? A lot of trucks, a lot of manufacturing. This is a map of all the railroads in the United States. It kind of coincides with the Rust Belt. You need railroads to make and haul steel and then it gets put on trucks and gets sent to different factories and different facilities from there. But if you look at the Rust Belt, where the raw materials are to make steel, where toll roads are, and then where railroads are, they all kind of work hand in hand. Here's also a population census. The white dots are where people live. So when you start getting really sparse out in the west, not a lot of steel goes out there, not a lot of flatbed freight goes out that way. You're best to stay in the Rust Belt. And if you look at some of these hubs, I don't know if it's shown up very well, but you can look at it on your own Google Maps. Pittsburgh, Akron, Youngstown. You can't, you can't drive more than a few exits without seeing a completely new town. They've got manufacturing facilities, truck stops, toll roads all along through here all the way through northern Indiana toll roads to Gary to Chicago all the way up to Milwaukee Wisconsin that's where all the freight is that coincides with the Rust Belt the toll roads and the railroad tracks